Hi, my name is Chance Raven with Go Engineer, and today we'll be talking about using locations within SolidWorks Electrical. What are locations, and how do we use them? Specifically, how can they be used to organize your project and bring more intelligence into your designs to realistically convey as much real-world knowledge of your electrical system into your schematic drawings? As we know, getting your schematics to 100% detail how the electrical layout and system will actually be built is just not possible. You can have two components on the same schematic inches apart that in reality will be separated by a mile in two completely different buildings connected by a cable that's actually one mile long but only spans two inches on paper. The solution to display this fact is our locations. In our project here, we don't have a component separation as large as a mile but our cable that connects our XLR1 connector here to the boil kettle, realistically, that cable is going to be much longer than what it looks like on the page here. But to show that there is some sort of isolation between the two, we can use our locations. So we're in a line diagram. So if we go to the line diagram tab here, we have our location outline. If we select that, it prompts us to draw or we could place coordinates. I'll just go down here to options and draw the rectangular outline. And I will trace out this dashed rectangle here. And it will bring up my locations manager, which lets me go and assign the location. So we'll set this as the control panel. And it will also prompt this because it notices that there are components contained within the rectangle that I just drew. So it's asking, do I want to assign them to this specific location? And I will say yes. And we'll also move this down. And so now that we've placed uh, one of our locations and assigned it to an already existing location, what if we want to go and create a new location? So we see that our pumps here, P1 and P2 at the bottom, well, let's say that they're isolated in a separate room called the pump room. So we'll go to our project tab here. And here we have the locations manager, which gives us a list of all the locations that we have within our project. And on the left, it gives us a nice collapsible menu showing sub locations and the parents of those child locations. Like control panel door belongs to control panel which then also belongs to the very top level L1 system location. So I'm going to highlight system, the top level parent location, and I'll say create a new location here. See the mark that it's going to assign it, the master, and also within our documents where it's going to be placed. So our description here, we will say this new location will be the pump room. I'll hit OK. See that it's now placed within the L1 system location. And I'll go back to my line diagram tab. And we'll repeat the same thing, but for our pump room. And just make sure I get a rectangle that encloses both P1 and P2. Sign pump room to that outline and we want to change those two pump components to this new location here and there we go so we see L1 the parent system location and then L4 the sub location pump room we've created a new location we've assigned components to this location and placed them in our schematic another way to see how our locations can be used to organize our project. We go next to the Documents tab here, and we go to Components. There, our whole Components list here is all organized by our locations and what location they belong to. This helps you if you're looking for a specific location or a specific component, you can always come here, and if you know the physical location or whatever convention you use to assign your locations uh, to organize where your components go 
you can always use that to find a specific component, especially when you have an extensive list of components like we do in this project here. As we can see, if we expand pump room, we see isolating those two pumps, P1 and P2, in our new location assigns them to that location here in our components tree. You can also go to the specific component itself or the symbol of the component. Go to the symbol properties. We have the components tree and they are organized by the locations as well. We also see in the hierarchy here we have the location. If we expand that out that brings up our locations manager where we can go and assign it a new location if we wanted to. We've already seen how we can create new locations, how we can assign components to locations, how within our project our components and symbols are organized by the locations. What else can we do? We come up here to our process tab we can create our 2D cabinet layouts. And each 2D cabinet layout is going to be generated from the, a location. So each location that we've created, even the new one, pump room, has the option to generate a new 2D cabinet layout drawing for that specific location. But we will go and we will uncheck all of these except for our control panel. And we'll come here to the destination tab and we'll generate it within our pre existing folder of 2D cabinet layouts. When I go to my documents here, we see control panel. And I'll open this up. We see here our cabinet layout panel has even the sublocation or control panel listed here. We can begin placing our 2D footprints in our cabinet. Another organizational tool for our projects utilizing location function is SOLIDWORKS assembly. So we can generate new 3D assemblies in SOLIDWORKS using SOLIDWORKS Electrical 3D, and each one is going to be organized by the location. And so this one's especially useful since SOLIDWORKS allows us to bring the electrical intelligence into our 3D SOLIDWORKS assemblies and parts and route our wires and integrate those connections into either existing assemblies or new assemblies. As you can see, these are grayed out the system room and control panel since they've already been generated. So these were all unchecked. If we created these two, we could go back over here to our SOLIDWORKS. And we see in our electrical manager tab here, just like we had it laid out in our components tree, organized by location, all of our components are listed here for placement within our new assembly. And same thing with our control panel here. All the components that we had assigned to this control panel location are now listed. And if they have not been placed, then we can now insert them into this assembly. We've shown how our locations can be used, organize our project, organize our components, bring intelligence, to our schematics that will help us realize the actual reality when it comes to manufacturing and constructing this electrical system. This has been Chance Raven with Go Engineer. Thank you. Have a good day.